Hi, my name is Bob Mayhew and I'm an 18-year veteran with the GTAC. In this video, I'll show an example of using SNMP views to limit SNMP access to a switch. For example, if I have this flux view open and I do not want somebody to see the, the VLAN names, for example, what I can do is enter the CLI of the switch. show the SNMP configuration and I'll notice that there's a view name called all. What that is used for is basically limiting access to the, the MIB structure on the switch. What happens is you create a, a username or a community name and then assign that to a group and then you provide that group access. You can define a read view, a notify view, and a write view. What we can do is modify that view to limit access to the specific MIB subtrees. And what I'll do is, uh, if, if you don't know what the OID or the subtree is for the information that you're looking for, uh, a good tool to use is actually MIB tools. And I just happen to know that this is located underneath dot one d bridge, and then under the Q bridge. But say I don't know any further. What I'll do is I'll query the information from the switch and then I can scroll down through until I find the VLAN names and they're right here. I'll right click and it'll take me right to that location in the MIB structure. What I'll do is I'll copy this information, go back to my Telnet session and then I'll set an SNMP view. I'll use the same view name and then I'll actually enter that information and exclude it this time. Now when I go back and query this flux view, I'll notice that my, mid, my VLAN names are no longer present. And I can do the same thing with MIBTree, just to prove that it is no longer there. I can further go in and say I wanted uh, VLAN 10 to show. I'll just change that and I remember that the instance for that is actually 10 and then I'll change that to be included. So now if I query that, I, I will see that VLAN blue is now listed and when I retrieve that information with my flex view, it's also listed. You can actually use this for limiting traps that are sent as well. It's not just for reading, writing, and um, notifying. You can do it for all three of them at the same time. Thanks for watching and please call one of our global GTAC 800 numbers for assistance on this or any other NetSite console issues. Feel free to ask for me and if I'm available I will be more than happy to assist. More information is available at our website, enterosys.com support.